So we are just a couple of weeks away from the release of the first beta of iOS 17 at WWDC 2023. Now this initially was thought to be just a minor update with bug fixes, improvements, and of course some small features. But it looks like it actually will be quite an interesting update with a lot of features now rumored, leaked, and also a lot of them confirmed that are coming to iOS 17. Now iOS 17, as I said, will be released on June 5th on its first beta at WWDC 2023. And installing it, it will be a bit different this year. If you're a dev, you will be able to install it that day. Otherwise, you will have to actually wait for the public beta to be released, which most likely will be towards mid to the end of July. This year, you won't be able to update to this beta using the beta profile because Apple has changed the way you update to betas and the only way is to have a paid dev account on your iPhone. Now, as I said, we have a lot of features that have been reported and of course rumored to come to iOS 17 and a lot of them are actually verified. We have a lot of them that have been reported by multiple sources and of course a lot of them that have been actually confirmed by Apple. So in this video we're going to take a look at some of these features that are confirmed and are coming to iOS 17 and first of them will be iMessage contact key verification. Now Apple is actually laying grounds for this feature to come on iOS 17 with the new iOS 16.6 beta that was released yesterday. So what this feature will do basically you use it on the iMessage app and for people that basically have maybe like digital threats they want to have like a certain way to actually know that they're talking to the person they actually intend to talk this feature will allow them to do just that and it will actually be very very useful for a lot of people like maybe government officials or like different activists or journalists this will be a very very useful feature and the next one will be the control center this is already confirmed it has been reported by multiple sources and we're getting a new control center with ios 17. this was also actually reported by a source on twitter who actually got taken down by apple and his twitter account as well but we know that this is coming to ios 17. of course it will probably not look anything like this here this is just a Cydia tweak that, that basically customizes the, the current control center, but we should see a new control center. I'm pretty sure it will be something similar to the macOS control center with, of course, different modules to do different stuff. And of course, a redesign, maybe even the ability to invoke it from the bottom of the phone, which would actually be way more practical. There will be changes also to default apps of iOS. According to Mark Grumman, the Find My App and the Wallet app will receive major updates this year. Now, this also had been reported by that source that I talked about on Twitter, which Apple took down. And of course, there will be a new design for the Wallet app and some changes on the Find My app as well. And there are also enhancements that are coming to the Health app and new features that are coming to the Health app as well. And maybe even the Health app for the iPad that should be coming with iPad OS 17 as well. So expect to see a brand new Wallet app on iOS 17 as well as changes and improvements to Find My and the Health app. And side loading is also coming to iOS 17. Now this is not available to everyone. It will only be available in EU because the EU laws will require Apple to actually let side loading apps on iOS 17. That should be made basically official by 2024. I believe it's March 2024. So during this period of time, Apple has to actually release that feature for iOS 17 and that is coming. But unfortunately, not for everyone just for EU and of course EU iPhone users. And this right here has been confirmed now by Apple. Apple has actually shared these images and this is called assistive access. This will basically include a customized experience on different iOS apps. You can see we have messages here, music, we have the calls, which is really interesting. We'll talk about that in a second here and the camera app. So basically this will help people with different problems have it way easier to use their iPhone. So things like the camera, messages, photos, music will offer a distinct interface with high contrast buttons and larger text and of course the larger buttons as well, which will make it for a lot of people in need very, very easy to use their iPhone. 
And when I talked about FaceTime and phone, this is the new app that will be available on iOS 17 when you have the assistive access enabled. So once you enable that mode, according to Apple, the FaceTime and the phone app will be turned into one app, which will basically be called calls. And there we will have other things. Of course, the, the calls, the phone calls and the FaceTime calls, everything will be on this new app called calls. This is another one confirmed by Apple with these new accessibility features that Apple has shared. They've done an amazing job with this. So this is basically live speech for the iPhone, iPad and Mac. So users can just type here whatever they want to say and have it spoken out loud during a FaceTime or a phone call or in a per person to person conversation. So you just write anything you want. If you cannot talk, it will read it out loud for you, even on a phone call or a FaceTime call, which is amazing. And this right here is personal voice. It is a simple and secure way to, sit, to create a voice that will sound like you. Now, this will be very, very useful, of course, for a lot of people. If someone is just losing their voice, they can record this and basically everything you type here, your iPhone will read it with your own voice. So it will be amazing. I don't... Apple, when they do these kind of things, they just amaze me. They have done a great, great job with this. So it will basically learn your voice and then create anything that you type with your own voice. Now, another really cool feature that Apple has confirmed coming to iOS 17 is the new point and speak in the magnifier. So someone that has problems with their sight, they can just point their iPhone to something, let's say maybe like a note or something and the iPhone will read it out loud. So you just point the magnifier and it will read everything out loud for you, which is amazing. Also another feature, this is well confirmed by Apple, switch control can now turn any switch into a virtual game controller. So users of course can play their favorite games on the iPhone and iPad. So these are some of the features that have been confirmed and are coming to iOS 17. Of course, there are a lot more reports and leaks, but we cannot confirm those features. Hopefully some of them will turn out to be true, like the ability to rename your app library folders and organize the apps on the app library on different categories. Also, there are a lot of rumors for the lock screen. We're expecting font size options for the lock screen, as well as the ability to have Apple Music lyrics on the lock screen and also the ability to share your lock screens with other users and a grid view for the lock screens so you can better organize your lock screens. Though of course a lot of other features like the new flashlight slider which basically would allow you to adjust the flashlight way easier. Of course a music redesign, a music app redesign and a lot of other features which according to Mark Grumman will be some nice to have features that users have been requiring for a long time and Apple has finally decided to check off that list of features. Hopefully, they will be really, really exciting. So these are some of the best new features that Apple has confirmed and some confirmed by different sources that are coming to iOS 17. As you probably know by now, iOS 17 is coming out on June 5th on its first beta. So we have 15 days left until that date. And that should be really, really exciting. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you wanna see more iOS 17 videos, make sure to subscribe, smash the like button on this one, and I will see you guys on the next video.